Hello beautiful people, welcome uh, to another video by me, The Clickstar. First of all, subscribe. Why do you not want to subscribe to my channel? I do virtual reality content on the Quest 2. If that's something you like, which it must be because you're here, then uh, yeah, uh, please subscribe. Um, today, I'm looking at AppLab games. I have been for a while actually. Um, all this month in January, there's not much coming out on the Oculus Store. So I thought, let me look into AppLabs. Let me find the best games that are out there and show you guys. Today is, oh, I need to eat a bit of pie, a bit of humble pie, um, because I have done a video on this game four or five months ago. It's called Ocean Craft. Uh, it's $7.99. And uh, at the time, I was a bit... Oh, I, was, I, I liked the game, but I, I felt the developers had kind of just left it. There hadn't been any updates for a while. And uh, I was a bit knocked because I was... Oh, the game could be so much better, you know? So I was a little bit like, mm, you know, it's a good game, but buy it if you want. It looks like the developers haven't done much to it for ages so you know take or leave it um wow they come back and they bit me on the clicks to ass they released a big update and uh i'm not going to talk about it too much i'll probably talk about it more in the video so without further ado let's go and have a little moo moo shoo okay peeps here we are stranded in the middle of nowhere on the little raft. Uh, the first thing you notice, uh, you have played the game before, the first thing you notice is the audio. You've got the like the, the water uh, rippling onto the raft, uh, like on a seashore when you're sitting on the beach and you know the, the waves are just rippling onto the sand. Uh, I really like that audio. I think it's really good. It's very relaxing, very chilled. Um, and yeah, so basically the idea of the game is obviously you're stranded here and you need to stay alive. Um, and basically you can do that. You get your little thingy here, your hair, your hair dryer, uh, with your fork and your spoon and your spatula that you've converted into like a grabber. And you just grab the things that come past the raft. Now, as you can see, I've only got a small raft. Uh, but as they say, it's not the size, it's how you use it. Not true, you can make this raft bigger, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, you literally just sit here and you just fish. And you actually can, you can actually make a rod as well, <laughs> fish for fish. But at the beginning, it's just really about getting all the uh, the wood, the plastic, uh, any barrels, uh, because all this stuff you'll use to, um, yeah, make items, to make things easier for you to stay alive okay so on your wrist you have your watch you have your health you have your food and your uh, your thirst if you do die you have to wait I think about 90 seconds before you can uh, carry on playing the game unless you have a bed you can like respawn straight away which I'll suggest get in as soon as possible but the first thing when you start the game the first thing you need to do is get your water filter um, up and running because food is quite easy to get hold of um, wait for some barrels no barrels are coming to me they're all too far away barrels can tend to have food in uh, and all sorts of stuff in like um, scrap metal, all that kind of stuff. Right, so this screen here brings up all the stuff that you can make or you can craft. So at the moment, you can craft a bed, a chopping block, a mug, a hook, a water purifier, structures, you can make a ladder, swim and pallet, which is what these are, so you can make your, your raft bigger. Um, you've got a triangle ones you can do, a ceiling, a ceiling triangular and a pillar. Uh, you've got lots of different types of walls that you can have. Uh, and then, yeah, you've got ammunition, nails, and rope. Which is rather good. Uh, any, any more barrels? Again, that barrel's miles away. Really annoying. So, like I said, the first thing you need to do is 
make a water purifier. So for that, so I've got what I need. I have wood, plastic, palm leaf. Hit craft. There you go. Place it somewhere. There. Uh, you then need to fill up that bucket with water with this pump. Give it a good old pump. Fill it with water. And then next thing you need to do is make a mug. Ah, plastic. I need more plastic. I need more plastic. This is multiplayer as well, so you can uh, you can hook up with your friends. Um, I'm not sure what the maximum is. I've played with two other people before. Um, so there was three of us on the raft. But I'm not sure. Actually, there might be four. Actually, I might have played with four, three other people before, so there's been a total of four of us on. So I'm not sure what the maximum is, but obviously uh, the more of you that there are, uh, certainly the easier it is, the quicker you can get things done. But let's just get some plastic to make this. Can I get that one? Can I get that one? Oh, I can. Excellent. Okay, that should be enough for the mug. Right, let's plonk that down there. It's still not working. What you need to do now, you need wood. So let's put some wood. And then away you go. Put some wood on there. You now see that dripping. There you go. That'll be full up in a sec. And that will uh, quench your first. There you go. It basically gives you endless amounts of water. Put it there, it will start filling it again. So as long as you've got wood, and that's you've got water in the bucket there, that's going to keep on providing you water, which is really, really handy. Um, so that's just a very quick introduction to the game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my other raft, um, which I've been playing for for two or three days. Um, actually, not, really not that long, um, but certainly a couple of days I've been playing it for. And uh, yeah, just uh, I want to show you what I've built and. Uh, Hopefully, you might see a few other things that they've added to the game. So let's go and pop over there now. Okay, people, welcome to this raft. Looking proper cozy, proper cozy. So we've got a little outdoor area here. Let's go through here. So yeah, I've got my outdoor area. So I've got my water purifier. Do I need water yet? No. Uh, I've got my chopping block, my food. So again, you put wood, just like you did on the other one. Put some wood in there. I've got, oh no, I've got a little wood in there. Put back on there. Uh, you've got your knife. So for instance, let's have a quick look. Let's get a, let's get a pepper. Get your knife. Gosh, you put that on there, and away you go. Because obviously cooked food, fills you up a lot more than raw food and the only thing is so you've got to stand stand by it because you don't want it to burn I don't even know is that is that done yet is that done yet I don't know it was delicious put it that way uh, and yes yeah, so this is uh, a crate that you can make I tend to put all my food in there. Now, uh, this here, this is the chopping block that you can make. So when you first bring up your menu, you'll see this chopping block. This is this here. You can raise it up to whatever sort of height you want it. And then, yeah, basically, you can, so from this, you can make a crate, which you've seen over there. You can create a chair, a workbench, slingshot, grill, hammer, small plant pots, fishing rods. You can make all that, which is good. All you do is you put what you need to make each item. So if you needed a chair, you would put four bits of wood, two bits of plastic in there, pull the handle, chair was made. Uh, so you've got this workbench here, which of these, so once these are made, 
Again, you can create more stuff. So then you've got a table, plant pot, a stairway, sail, a carpet, a lightning rod, uh, a flag, a water pistol, the water pistol. You need to get that as soon as you can, people. That is going to save your life, save your raft. You don't want to do what I did, spend all day on the game, and then uh, your raft catches fire, which I won't tell you yet how that can happen, but your raft catches fire and literally wipes out. I was literally just standing on one piece of wood left. I was devastated, devastated. I've got an upper level. Uh, which I'm kind of building at the moment. Obviously, this is all going to be, you know, going to go all the way across. Uh, and I want this to have, this is going to be like a, a nice cosy. You can actually get stuff from up here, see? This is quite cool. So, yeah, this could be like a nice cosy chill out area. There's going to be tables, chairs, beds, you know, a nice comfortable area. Uh, let me just quickly show you how those come down. You pop that. That drops down. Now from that, you normally get good stuff. Sometimes you get nails. If you're lucky, you get some tape. What is this one? Tape, excellent. Tape's really, really good. Don't think I can do that one yet, because I need a pillar. I need a pillar there. Now can I? Oh, we've got the rain cloud coming. No, I need to get rid of that one. Here we go, you've got the rain cloud. Where's that hit? Oh shit, it's out of there. So you get struck by lightning, you need to get... Oh shit. Shoot, 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 shoot. Water pistol. Can I get that from here? Yes, I can. That is why that is a lifesaver. If you don't get that fire out quick enough, it spreads. Uh, you can use the water from your cup to douse it out. Um, so as long as you, there's just one bit of fire, and that's quite good. If it starts to spread, you've got no chance because the how quick that cup <laughs> takes to fill up. The fire spreads too quick. So you need one of these. The cool thing with these, obviously they're, it's empty. You need a little water. You don't need to be by the edge. You can literally just kind of put it through the floor and suck the water up and then squirt it. So that's really cool. That's why that is a lifesaver. So I need that open. Cool. Cool. Can I put one there yet? I don't think I can. Is there a pillar there? Some more scrap metal, scrap metal, scrap metal. Yes. Scrap metal. Yes. Excellent. Make some more nails. taking shape people it's taking shape and we 
do. Uh... Oh, peeps, this is the life. I'm telling you, this is the life. So I need a pillar there. So it'd be cool if they could add some more crafting bits, like, I, I don't know, maybe windows, uh, doorways would be quite cool. Wouldn't mind if some doorways. Uh, don't really need to have a door. But yeah, this game is, it has improved a lot. A, a massive a lot. So I feel, <laughs> I feel bad because in the last video, I said that it looked like the developers had uh, kind of not bothered anymore about the game. Weren't because there hadn't been any updates for ages. And then here we are, we have a massive update. Oh shit, that's good, bad timing. You hear that music? Panic, people. Panic. Get your... You need one of these bad boys. Now, they... You see, there will be two. There will be two that come up. So, you've got one pirate ship, one there. You need to hit them twice. Make sure you've got ammunition. Now, they, those things there, that's normally either... Can't get it now. But it's either um, metal, they drop, or... Oh, sh or um, that was metal. That one is right. Both metal. The good thing is I can put them out from here. Is that it? There's no more, is there? There's no more. Nothing else is on fire. No. Cool, cool, cool. So, yes, yeah, so you get two pirate ships come up. Um, yeah, you, need a, you need a catapult with some ammunition. Otherwise, uh, they do eventually go down. They'll, they'll normally do one lap of, the, uh, of your raft, um, constantly firing cannons at you. I mean, I was lucky I only got hit a couple of times. Sometimes you get hit quite a lot, four or five times. And eventually they will then dive back down under the ocean uh, and leave you alone for a little bit. And eventually they'll come back up again. Um, but yeah, that's what I said. You need one of these bad boys because if you, try, if you try and put the fire out just using that, if it spreads, you've got no chance, people. Um, let's put that away. But yeah, so this is it. This is uh, Ocean Craft. It's on App Labs. I think it's from memory. It's either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. I think um, it's certainly under ten pounds. One hundred percent is under ten pounds. Uh, and again, it's a great game. Oh, am I dying? Let me get some water quick. I don't want to die mid. Why do I, why do I open my mouth <laughs> while I'm drinking water in VR? People, I'm sure not the only person that does that. If you eat or drink something in VR, you open your mouth, right? It's not just me. Um, but yeah, so, what was, I, what was I saying? Oh yes, Ocean Craft, it's on App Labs. It's definitely under 10 pounds. So they've had this big update. So if you played Ocean Craft four or five months ago, like myself, definitely get back on it it's improved 100 percent um really really good um and yeah if you want to join me in ocean craft then join my discount jump join my discount join my discord and uh yeah we'll hook on see if we can uh, either improve on this bad boy of a raft or maybe uh yeah start from one from scratch i don't mind but yeah look thank you for watching check out my uh, the series I'm doing on App Lab Games. Uh, I'm doing it purely because there's nothing out 
on in the, coming in in the octo store very tight <laughs> anytime soon certainly january looks to be a very dry month uh so i'm going to app labs and i'm getting the best games that are out there um for, so you can uh, yeah spend your hard-earned money on quality games um but yes thank you for watching uh don't please subscribe if you love vr content especially the quest 2 content then yeah please subscribe and uh, thank you i will see you on the next video goodbye see you later cheers guys